Hamish, another spectacular victory for you in 2022. It's quite the year for you so far, isn't it? How was that today? Yeah, it was good. Like I didn't know what to expect. It was my first time on this this course. Um, I had a lot of people messaging me, telling me different parts of it, but it's different when you get out there and you're sort of running blind. But found the last half pretty tough. I was on my own for, for quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. It was still uh, a course record. Probably about a, just over a minute outside my, my personal best. But um, yeah, it's a tough course today. So happy with that. I was about to say, getting such a time on such a tough course, the consistency for you throughout 2022, from the roads, then to the track, and now back to the roads again. You know, that must have you a good stay going into London next April. Yeah, I think a lot of people were sort of saying, oh, you'll be tired, you've done a lot of racing, but I actually feel good, like my body feels good. It's more <laughs> mental side of it has been tough to sort of get yourself up again. For Com like for me, Commonwealth Games was just the biggest moment in my career so far, and it was such a buzz, and it's been difficult maybe, yeah, mentally to sort of get yourself excited to sort of come out and race again. So that side of things has maybe been a challenge for me, but... Um, Today was so cool, like I had people cheering literally from mile one to mile 13 and that really helped. Shouting on go on Liz at some points. Um, so yeah, I was sort of smiling and trying to not uh, lose focus, but it was it was really cool and that's special. That's it really special. must give you a good idea. I know you did the 10K earlier on, so you could have done bits of the London Marathon course, but in different sections essentially. But you get an idea of really what it's going to feel like next April. I mean, was that an easy decision for you to you know, postpone it to April? Over yeah, it was frustrating because I'm definitely the type of athlete that would just, if it was up to me, I would just try and batter on through and try and do it. But um, after speaking to yeah people that have a lot more knowledge in the marathon than I do, um, it was just very clear that it's not sensible to try and run 26 miles uh, with no fuel at all. I think that's just, that's what I would have to do right now in order to try and get through the fuel distance. And it's just... It's not the way I want to race, you know, and I want to be prepared. I want to know that I can manage the full distance and have get fuel on board without any issues. Um, I think it would make very interesting TV if I was to try and do the full distance without anything. But it's just, yeah, I, I know in my head this is the most sensible decision. And I think the fact that it's only seven months wait helps as well. I think if it was a full year, I'd maybe feel differently. But I don't have long to wait. And today was a great sort of experience to see what that course is like and to have the crowds and the British atmosphere like it's just got me excited for what April will bring and I'm sure it'll be right around the corner. I was about to say if it was hypothetically in October next year would it have been a harder decision to then you know think about not doing it this year? I think so I think I'd be like that's a long time to wait uh, it's a long prep as well so yeah it's seven months I can I can deal with I feel like um I feel a little bit more relieved as I think that I only have that seven months to wait and it gives me enough time. I do feel confident that we've got enough time now to get it right. Um, but yeah, today was a really cool to have everyone cheering and to be running across Tower Bridge was, was really special. And finally for me, 2022, 5K national record, 10K national record, half marathon national record, four major champs, <laughs> Birmingham, you know, Commonwealth 10,000 metres of title. And now you've set a course record here in a long, in a big way. It's quite the year. Yeah, like for me, Commonwealth Games was really special. I don't think I'll ever get that moment in my career again. Again, just maybe the fact my mum had done it, the same event, like having the British crowd, like it was just, it was a really high moment. So that's definitely been a highlight. But I've almost like forgotten that. I had all that sort of road racing early season as well and it's not until you say it I think oh yeah like I did that I did the 5k 10k half marathon British record like it has really been a, a like a great season but amongst all that there's been a lot of challenges as well I've obviously uh, had Covid then I picked up laryngitis then I picked up a hamstring injury like so it's there's been highs and then lows and highs and lows so yeah it's just nice to feel like uh, I'm in a good spot right now. It's just frustrating, obviously, with having to skip London Marathon. But in between all that, like I can't have asked for any more. I really have hit every target that I set out to achieve this year. And Birmingham, really, for me, was like the absolute icing on the cake.